Now I'm building the stairwell. I've popped out all the pieces. This is the first floor stairwell. I've popped out all the pieces. Now I'm going to go around and I'm going to sand the edges. Just lightly. Keep them all nice and clean. Now if you want to prepare this, now's the time to do it if you're going to paint and seal and primer and all that. Now's the time to do it. So once I get this all together, I'm going to have to run to the hobby store and pick up some sealer because I don't have any. I don't intend to paint it just yet and I'll get in there and paint later after it's built. But for the time being, I'm going to need some sealer. Uh, the hints on the sheets say that it makes it much easier. So notice I've numbered or I mean lettered each piece too as they correspond. Makes it easier to put it all together. Now as far as stairs go, it's considerably easier to use a hot glue gun. Because if you're trying to do, use Elmer's glue, you got to wait too long for it to dry. And then usually it's out of uh, alignment. So take your time, just put a little bead on there, and then glue your piece. Give it a few minutes to dry and keep on going. Okay, so I got the stairwell built. But I don't like all these seams and everything. So I've got some 120 and 180 grit sandpaper I'm going to be sanding. But first, I'm going to be staining this as a Sedona Red 222 from Minwax. But I need to fill all these seams. I'm not real happy with that. Otherwise, it's not too bad. Uh, like with any wood, nothing's perfect, so de definitely going to take some finishing. I've got this Minwax, this wood putty. Now this is pretty close to that Sedona red color. So that's why I got it. I'm going to fill these seams with this red. Then I'm going to stain over it after it dries. You just take your finger and rub it in. And then what I like to do, I'll have this 180 grit sandpaper and I'll do a light dusting over it. You really can't do much sanding until it dries. So, I've done the rest of it. It's all sealed pretty good and I'm pretty happy with it. I may have to do some little bit of filling here and there. But, overall, we'll let that dry. And we'll get back at it in 24 hours or so. Now, it's considerably easier to seal your wood before you construct it. So this is floor two and three. So I'm putting a coat of polyurethane on it first because I don't plan on painting the floors. I may have some carpet or something like that on them but I want them sealed. So and I'm going to seal both sides. So. I'm getting one coat on first here, then I'll let it dry overnight, and then I'll flip it, and then I'll do the other side. Now, in all, to keep this from sticking to the newspaper, uh, old, old secret is using spaghetti. But I don't use spaghetti. I got dowel rods that I'm using. But you could use spaghetti laying it underneath so that it doesn't stick to the paper. All right, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get these sealed up, and then... Uh, uh, this will be the last project of the day. We have to let things dry and then we'll get started again tomorrow. Oh.